Passion Unchained. Joe here. Um, my my guiding principle in life is that life is meant to be loved, not just lived. So I'm going to help you do that. Um, right now, I'm doing a lot of content on helping you build a love life that is amazing uh, because that's what I have the most experience in out of the four pillars, health, wealth, love, and happiness. That and health, but I want to focus on one at a time. Um, so I'm doing a lot of content on helping you build up your love life. Today, I'm talking about um, I'm dispelling some advice, some more advice that people give, a class of advice, and giving you um, actual advice, in actual good advice in, um, in, uh, in place of it. The bad advice is that you have to be into a specific thing for girls to like you. Be it you have to be into sports, you have to like watching sports, or girls only like musicians, you have to have a creative hobby or you have to love to travel, or you have to be X, you have to be Y, you have to be Z, right? You have to be into these subjects. Now, um, I will say a slight exception is working out, but let me talk, talk to you about why it doesn't make any sense. Um, some, first of all, it's more important that you have a passion than what your passion is. Maybe some girls, are partial to guys who are into certain things because they admire those qualities or because the uh, maybe men in their family were into those things and it makes them feel more um, more connected to you, right? I feel more connected to women who are into art or have creative hobbies because uh, my mom is a very creative woman. So when I do crafts, because I would do crafts a lot with my mom, I would do a lot of art and when I do art and craft with a girl, I feel really connected to her just because of my prior experience. So maybe there are a lot of women, or not maybe, there are a lot of women who would sit down and watch football with their dads. And so they, the, what, if you're into football, that is really important to them. And if you're not, then she can't feel so connected to you. But there are a ton of girls who aren't. And maybe there are a ton of girls who are, not maybe, I keep saying maybe. And there are also a ton of girls whose fathers were musicians. And so um, they would watch their dad play guitar or they would uh, try to play guitar with their dads when they were little girls. And so when you play guitar, it makes them feel connected to you. And if you don't, they don't feel connected to you. Um, there are so many experiences that girls have with their parents, with their dads. Um, and sometimes that can lodge itself as a preference to guys who have similar hobbies and similar passions. I know that for me, it's the same way with girls. I am very attracted to girls who have creative hobbies and creative passions because of my prior experience. Um, so, but is it mandatory? First of all, is it mandatory? And second of all, is it universal? Are there any universal hobbies that you should be into? Um, now, number one, is it mandatory? No. For some girls, though, it might be. For, for one girl, it might be important that you be into sports. But the thing is, if you're not into sports, then you're just not compatible because you could pretend to be into sports, but then you'd be lying to her. And the moment that it gets out is that you're just that you're just trying to be into sports. Then, uh, then the, everything's going to fall apart, and she's going to be even less attracted to you than if you weren't into sports at all. So if you have to be into X, Y, or Z in order to attract a specific girl, and you're not an X, Y, or Z best thing to do is move on and find a girl who's okay or happy with you having your own passions. Um, and the second thing I said, so the first thing I said was, is it mandatory? The second thing I said is, is there any, are there any hobbies that are mandatory for you to be into? And I would say it's not necessarily mandatory, but working out, it doesn't have to be a passion, but it's a really important um, thing for you, not just for, for girls, but for health also. Um, but even for girls, it's kind of mandatory, I would say, if you want to have any semblance of an awesome love life, being healthy or at least being on the way to being healthy, meaning just going to the gym on a consistent basis, is very important. Or it could be running. You don't, it doesn't have to be the gym. It could be some kind of exercise. Um, I would say do cardio and, work, and uh, strength training of some sort. And... Um, the exact type isn't so important. It's just because of health, because of what it does to your mood, and because uh, girls find it extremely attractive because you're a capable man who has discipline and, um, and is able to, to, to be 
physically strong that is very important for most girls. Now, can you get girls without doing the, that? Yes, but you're playing on hard mode because you're going to have to put many more numbers in to attract the same amount of girls that you could have just attracted by going to the gym and having an exercise habit. So I would say exercising is mandatory. Um, as for any, everything else, just hygiene. I mean, that's just a habit. It's not a passion. So there are habits that are mandatory, I would say, grooming and hygiene, but those, those aren't the same as passions or things that you're into. So there's not really anything that you're in. You don't have to be into working out. You just have to do it. So I don't think there's any mandatory things you have to be into. That said, you having, I did a video on this, you having passions, you just having passions is important. Girls want to find guys who are into something, who have a mission in life, and who are passionate. Um, you don't even have to have passions that she likes or that she appreciates. Just the fact that you are passionate is enough to make girls excited about you. To have the, oh, oh, this guy's into this. Like, he's going somewhere. He's just, he has interesting things he does. Um, I can't count the times that I've been into something, like, probably making, um, creating with my hands, excuse me, it's a huge thing for me. And a lot of girls I've dated are not into that, but they like watching me do it and they like listening to me talk about it because I'm passionate about that and they want to hear me talk about it. Kind of the same deal like Anthony Bourdain, may he rest in peace. You don't watch No Reservations because you love travel and food. I mean, you might, but usually most people watch that because Anthony Bourdain loves travel and food. Same with Guy Fieri. You don't watch... His shows, because you like exploring random diners, you watch his shows because he likes exploring random diners. He's passionate about it. And you want to watch him talk about his passion, right? So that's the more important thing is that you have a passion, not what the passion is. So I hope this helped you out. Um, and uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I do offer a free dating profile critique. I will give you a dating profile critique one-on-one -on, -one on a live call. Check the link in the description below for that. Only a few more days left of my video a day challenge. Excited to move on to the new year and to uh, have a different upload schedule. So talk to you more about that when it comes out. Until then, goodbye.